right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Aspiring Entrepreneur. I'm your host, Hamza Chowdhury. And in this video, I'd like to give you an update on the Apple stock and what we can expect uh, going into the iPhone announcement in a couple weeks. Uh, but before I do so, I'd like to ask a favor of you. If you could like, subscribe um, to the channel, share with your friends and family, it really helps with the channel um, just to get people to, to see the videos that we put together. Just note that we don't sell you any programs. Everything we do on this channel is absolutely free to you, the, the viewer. So I just appreciate it if you could definitely uh, share with your friends and family, uh, subscribe, and then also add some comments below. Tell me what you think about the video. Um, be honest and let me know if there's something that I can help you out with or if there's something that you're curious about a stock symbol that you'd like me to take a look at for you so with that said guys let's just jump right into it so we had quite the movement yesterday um, I had mentioned in my previous videos uh, earlier in the week that I had felt that Apple had a uh, premature sort of breakout that probably got a lot more people trapped and I mentioned that because I felt like we had validated this line that we established as a solid support. Uh, previously, before the split, you can see that this line was constantly a resistance line until we broke out of it, heading to the split. And then you can see as we consolidated uh, early September, we constantly were bouncing off of this line, uh, the support, which I established was around 112.60s. And then recently, um, in middle of September, we were actually using it as a resistance as we were sort of going in the downtrend direction. And then as we made a higher low over here in the 105 range, we figured, okay, we probably have hit the bottom. And then what I did today was sort of draw out like this wedge to kind of see where we think the, the price action's headed to. And so when we had this two days ago, this sort of rejection of a higher price, right? So we started around the 118, we rejected that price. And I said, it, I felt like it was premature. But you can see here that now the 50 day uh, moving average, which is shown in this yellow line, it's right around 113.78. And so if you look yesterday, you can see the stock actually closed below the 50 day. And what I really liked and what I mentioned in, in my previous video was look, look at this bounce right off the, the, the 112, 113, or sorry, the 11260. Look at this bounce. I mean, that's a $2 move in a minute. So if you were someone who was able to sort of get it in a long here, put your order in at open, you were quickly up $2 in the first minute, which again, that's what makes the stock all, stock so op, awesome. And so we, we hit that and and what happened after that is we, you know, we came down, we tested the VWAP and we bounced higher. And I had mentioned that, you know, this is where I was going to go heavy on the calls. So I went heavy on the calls at open. And as we kind of creeped up here and it didn't seem like we were, we were consolidating, we weren't going to break that. I believe it was like the 115, uh, it's like the 115.30 area. I sold all my calls and I actually came down when, as this thing was flushing down and I sure was, I, I was paying attention to the RSI. Okay. So when you want to get back into a trade, you want to make sure you're not buying when it's selling off. Um, or sorry, when it's not selling off. So when you are trying to get into a long, you want to see if the RSI, you know, lines up with with your sort of risk management plan. And so for me, anything below um, uh, 40 or, you know, let's say 30 or anything that's below 30 is, is a vibe. So I actually reloaded my call options um, for, for with the December strike price when Apple was tanking down here. And I kind of got in probably a little early. I could have waited for a retest. I honestly did not expect us to retest this level, but you can see again, you know, this level we've established has just been solid for us for trading. And so we retested, which was awesome. So if you were able to reload your call options here, you had another um, sort of move here, which again, you could have sold up here and then we sort of died down. So now you can see that the VWAP started acting as a resistance. And what was interesting too that I was really paying attention to was where are we gonna close? And so the fact that we closed below the 50 and it acted as resistance, but at the same time we have the support channel, um, that you start to get the conflicting information. But you can also recall in my previous video earlier in the week, I mentioned, look at how the 20 day moving average, which is shown with this dotted line was trending downward. Look at how the Bollinger Band, which was obviously extremely wide, indicating a lot of volatility, was also downtrending. But look what's happened with the last couple days with the move. You can see that the channel is now, the, the band is starting to come together closer, which means there's less volatility and it's starting to consolidate. But you can also say, you know, I mentioned is that we want to start flattening this. We want these to start flattening so that we can expect for the anticipated breakout, which is closer to when I expect the iPhone breakout. I'm uh, sorry, when the iPhone launch. So you can see here that now that the channel is starting to form and we're going to probably get some consolidation, I can see this bouncing off of the coming down here. 
I can see this coming down to probably about, I'd say, uh, 10, I'd say probably about 4%. So if we were to close, let's say closer to like 109, 108, 50, 109, I, I could see that happening. So that would be what I would say is the risk is that we could possibly lose this break to support. Now, let's look at what happened after hours. I mean, look at how great this 112.60 line has been for us, right? This stock just can't seem to leave it. But guys, supports her, like we described previously, are meant to be broken, right? So we can't say that this is going to be the forever support for the stock because that's not the case. We obviously got the news of the president with the COVID news and that tanked the markets, which is why yesterday we had this push up because the stock had already taken in the news and it simply was trying to fill in that gap that it had lost overnight. So we could definitely see something break in that level, but if we were to break it, I don't expect the stock to go down to the 103, the 105 previous lows. Um, I expect it to stay in this channel. And then you can see that as we sort of navigate through this wedge, October 12th is actually the, the day I heard that the iPhone prices are gonna be released. Um, there's a leak. Uh, so there's uh, an image right there showing you the different prices of the actual stock, um, of the phone, excuse me. And so once the iPhone is announced, which I believe has been rumored around the 14th or 15th, that really takes us right past this area. So I expect that we're gonna consolidate around this area here. We could potentially hit a low of 108, 50, 109. And then what I expect is as we get closer to this iPhone announcement, which is right here, we'll be trading back to where we are right now around the 112, 113s, but we're gonna expect hopefully a breakout just because of the iPhone and, and leading up to what the excitement of that is um, and what that leads to. And that, that to me, the breakout will start getting us back into the 120s. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, if you have any questions or comments, like I said, leave them below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.